All right, what's up, everyone? We are back. Divine Chakras here. Divine Chakras here. Oh, my God. Welcome back to the channel. Um, <clears throat> for those that don't know, my name is Shalom Ashe Gaia. And I'm coming to you guys with your Venus Retrograde reading. And this is a follow-up video to the last video. I just put my white shirt on because I was like, ooh, the boobies were just out. And I was just like, oh, my God. And I had my waist trainer on. So they pushed up and they just all in your face. I mean, you know, it is what it is. But, um... I am coming to you guys today with um, your official Venus retrograde reading. Um, the cards are already laid out because I kept getting cut off. Um, Kennedy, my mom, everybody and their mother was coming in here interrupting me. And I said, you know what? Now is not the time to do this reading. So we are now going to go ahead and get started on this reading for Venus Retrograde 2018. If you are interested in hearing my testimony or my story um, connecting to the Venus Retrograde energy and a little background gist of what's gonna happen during this time, which is a little bit over a month, six weeks, check out the last two videos. There's a part one and a part two, so be, please be aware of that. I got cut off in the middle. Um, and as always, you know, I don't have an editor. I'm still looking for a good Android editor. So if anyone knows of a good Android editor, because I used to use um, iMovie when I had an iPhone. But yeah, anyways, let's get started because I'm already talking and I don't feel like doing it. Except for these cards. All right, so the first card that I pulled out was the Knight of Swords. Next that came out was the Ten of Pentacles. Again, the Ten of Pentacles. This is an energy that has been resonating a lot during this week next that came out was the lovers in reverse and then we have the libra card the uh justice and this is the sign in which um venus will complete its retrograde it's going to go from scorpio into um libra all right this is a libra card so we're on point here all right so first out Let's get into the Knight of Swords. And the Knight of Swords is all about that charge energy. You see the guy, um, the knight in this particular picture. He is charging forward here. Um, the horse is like going. His face is like determined. He has a sword up like, yeah, you know. Um, the energy of Venus Retrograde is very like, yeah, <laughs> in your face. It is a very aggressive energy. Um, it can be for some people, I should say. Um, it is very aggressive in that um, there could be possibly a lot of sexual frustration, um, you know, especially for someone who is celibate or single um, and not seeing someone. Or if you are in a relationship, there may be miscommunications with um, sex, sex and sexual drives. There may be a um, decreased sexual drive for a woman and, a, and an increased sexual drive for a man, which makes for clashing or vice versa. OK, um, also depends on the person's chart as well. All right. But for the most part, when we're looking at the overall collective energy, we're looking at um, a really deep connection to sexuality as well as self-love um, and relationships. OK, um, I'm getting a message of codependency. All right. There could be um, people here that are codependent on their partners. Um, meaning that they cannot make a move without them. And that's all heart chakra energy. Like this is probably, I don't want to say probably, this is going to be a great time for you to connect to your heart as well as your sacral chakras. Okay. Um, all about that love, but also that passion. Um, again, that sexuality, that sexual energy, um, that is definitely going to be on the forefront of this Venus retrograde. All right. Um, in addition to that, we have the lover's card in reverse, okay? So again, with this aggressive energy, you definitely want to think before you speak um, because the knight tends to be the person that will um, kind of act. They'll kind of act and think at the same time because um, they're still moving through their intellect. They're still um, moving through, you know, their emotions. They're like the page is very like, uh, is a younger energy, um, usually female associated with like female or a younger child, not a child, but like a younger person. So like early twenties. All right. Um, it could also be a child as well, depending on who you're reading for. 
but um the page of swords is all about like someone who like has new ideas they're very like quick-witted but on the flip side they can be like very manipulative um and very like naive they can be over processing in their thoughts they could have some jealousy as well all right and so a lot of this energy for me comes through in this night even being upright um you know there's just a lot of like aggressive thoughtful energy like people are too much in their heads they're they're like they're like having like recollections especially of like past relationships um exes i know i've been having a lot of dreams about my exes okay and i also talked about this in the previous videos about connecting to um, sexuality as well um so again like that aggressive energy uh that aggressive intellectual energy um you know it's it's really time to just um, take the time to really reflect on yourself, really um, take the time to reflect on those past relationships and how they have brought you to this moment and what have you learned, okay? What have you learned from those relationships and what mistakes what will you not make going forward, right? So that when we go into the new year, we're taking brand new energy um, to manifest a partner that we, that we deserve or relationships um, that serve our highest good, okay? And in addition to that, we have the lovers. As I said, the lovers in reverse. This is Gemini energy here, okay? Um, the lovers card, um, I love the lovers card because um, it could go both ways. It could be about your lover. It could also be about your friend, okay? But this is about loving relationships. This is about um, conditional, loving conditionally, unconditional, excuse me, unconditional relationships, all right? Um, I feel like there's gonna be a lot of compromise with um couples for the Venus retrograde you may see a lot of people breaking up you may see a lot of people getting back together um you may see like exes like forming like alliances like alliances and what i mean by that is like becoming like friends with benefits and things like that in order to satisfy um their sexual drive which is obviously some of us is going into overdrive um especially with the mars energy being coupled here with the venus retrograde in scorpio okay scorpio is a water energy gemini though is an air energy we have two air energies here um and there's going to be a lot of thought processing during this time so you may be again thinking back to the past um of when you were in a relationship with someone in particular um or maybe you had a bad breakup and you're really trying to just get over it there's a lot of things um here about relationships okay um again interpersonal and actual um like between two people or it could be a group as well but the lovers um is about like coming to a crossroads and saying is this relationship um is this like you know for me is this um journey of um, sexuality is it like is it for my highest good is this something that's making me happy all right um just like i told you guys in my previous vi previous video yes okay anyway just like i told you guys um In my previous video about like you know coming to terms with um coming to terms with my sexuality and saying you know what like i'm really gonna follow the path that i am passionate about i'm gonna follow the path that i know that i'm supposed to be on um again and if you want any further information on that then i would definitely suggest that you watch that video but um there's gonna be a lot of people that are gonna be coming to terms with um who they are as sexual people and again there's nothing wrong with that um there's nothing wrong with you know saying you know what this is not who i am this is not what makes me happy and i'm gonna pursue you know what makes me happy okay so that is the lover's card it's coming to terms with um your lover with whether that's loving yourself loving someone else or loving something or someone else that doesn't like necessarily coincide with what you've been doing um it's just really taking the time to go inside of yourself and say you know who who do i really love what do i really love and and actually pursuing it and going through the motions of getting to that healing point um the gemini can sometimes be like very indecisive um energy so you may Go back and forth with figuring out what is best for you moving forward. Um, and I feel like there's a lot of people like that where 
we get into this spiritual um, community and the spiritual community can be very um, judgmental as well, um, especially for people in their lifestyles. OK, um, you know, for example, like, um, you know, how can you be spiritual and be a vegan and not be a vegan? How can you be spiritual and still eat meat? Um, how can you be spiritual and be homosexual? Um, how can you be spiritual and date a white woman or a white man? You know, vice versa. So, um, you know we have to sometimes put our judgments aside and say, you know what, um, you know, this is not, uh, you know, a million years ago, just exaggerating, but you know, this is not thousands and thousands and thousands of year, years ago, um, when things were different, um, you know, we're in a different time and different age now. Um, we have advancements in technology, um, you know, as well as relationships and people and thought processes, um, and practices and religions and all sorts of things. So, you know, at the end of the day, like, um, my advice would just be to do you, um, speaking your truth. Don't be ashamed. Hold your head up high. Um, and continue to work on loving yourself so that you can become a stronger advocate for yourself. Okay. Um, the next card I have here is the Ten of Pentacles Upright. And this is all about relationships as well. This is all about getting back to family, getting back to your roots, getting back to your foundation. Um, you might find a new a newfound inheritance within your family. And I don't mean like, you know, inheriting money or some sorts. There may be a message here of inheritance. So definitely someone may be up to get like an inheritance from um, a loved one who passed. But this is all about like looking for the love that's in your family. Um, this could even be like revisiting friends that you feel are, are family as well. But um, it's all about family ties. And we are going into, um, you know, the holiday season where we are reconnecting with family, where we are reconnecting with, you know, people that we may not have seen in a long time, friends of the family as well. Um, so it's just really a time of getting back to your roots, getting back to your foundation um, and really com completing those karmic cycles, really cleaning up that that energy. Like if you're dragging like family tie energy, like if you're dragging like, you know, if you had an argument with a family member from last holiday and it's lingered over until this year and you guys haven't, um, you know, shut the door on that argument or, you know, if you are walking into your spirituality um, or if you're walking into a new sexual lifestyle or whatever, um, you know, and let's say you're just, you're coming out of the closet. Okay. Um, this card really speaks to me right now of, you know, coming out and speaking in your truth, no matter what it is. Um, you know, when you get around your family, don't be fake and phony, be who you are on a normal basis, right? Um, be the spiritual being that you are, be the, you know, gay or lesbian person that you are, um, you know, be the non-Christian person that you are, be the witch, okay, that you are, live in your truth, there's nothing wrong with, um, you know, there's nothing wrong with revisiting the family aspect of things, but then like implanting what you've been growing over time, that is what a karmic completion is, and this is also the 10 of pinnacles and yesterday was 10 10 you guys know we are still resonating on that 10 energy um so i just wanted to throw that out there but you know we, we just really gotta um keep our minds open um and not be so judgmental okay working on that third eye that will help you to not be so judgmental anyway so the last card here because clearly my house is off the chain right now and this is the Libra card all right this is all about balance and this is the sign that um, Venus will end in once the retrograde is complete okay and Lady Justice here Lady Justice is here to tell you that once you step into speaking your truth once you step into accepting who you are on a soul level connecting with um you know finances sexuality um your overall energy because the venus retrograde is also about finances as well um they say like it's not a good time to get into relationships right now or to make really big luxury pur purchases so no buying a house no buying a car i would just hold off and wait until venus retrograde is over all right but um this is just all about like balance like you will finally come to balance if you actually do the work that is called for this season if you actually um continue to work on yourself and work on your 
work on your soul on a love heart chakra soul level but also connecting to the sacral chakra as well if you are fulfilling your passions if you're fulfilling um the things that you really want in your life to see happen to come into fruition then everything will come into balance this is like the next to last retrograde before we hit Mercury retrograde, which happens um, all the time. But the last time we saw a Venus retrograde was a few years ago. Okay, you guys. So this is like a big energetic shift for us because we don't see um, a, a Venus retrograde as frequent as we would like, for example, a Mercury retrograde. Um, so this is like a very like different time for us. I feel like a lot of us have not yet experienced energy like this in a while. And the last time that we did, we may not be able to remember or to connect to what happened during that time. Um, so I would definitely say to revisit the last retrograde time period and see what was going on during that time when you were, um, or when we were, I should say in, um, Venus retrograde, right? Um, Everything will come into balance. I'm getting a message. Everything will come into balance. Everything will come into fruition. Everything will be, um, you know, fair. Justice will be served to you if you actually stand up for yourself, um, if you actually speak in your truth, if you actually show up and be the genuine person that you're meant to be, not be fake and phony, um, not act a certain way, not try to cover up your lifestyle or be something that you aren't. If you would just open yourself up to have the courage to stand up and stand in your truth, then everything will level out and be balanced. But if you are going to work against this energy, then um, you will definitely reap the re you will definitely reap the repercussions, and that's really going to be um, tied into your misery. You will be miserable. You will still be lost. You will still be dragging old dead weight. Um, you will still be um, unsatisfied with your life, and that is what we want to avoid. Okay, creating satisfaction is going to create reciprocity. It's going to create balance. It's going to create fairness. Okay, all is fair in love and war. Like, it's going to create just that. All right. So, I didn't want to get too far um, without, like, really touching on the fact that, um, you know, we are all reflections of ourselves, of each other, I should say. And um, we all reflect upon each other in ways that, um, that you would never understand or know until you really become spiritual and you really understand the cosmic energies and how they all affect us um, in the same way as above, so below. And, you know, each planet, we are affected by each planet. That's why each, that's why you have a um, birth chart because when you're born, every single planet is in the atmosphere on some type of placement and some type of zodiac sign. Um, and that is your astrological makeup. It is very important to get an astrological chart done. You can go to cafeastrology.com, type in your birth date, the city, and the time, the exact time in which you were born. That will give you your overall synopsis of your birth chart. It'll really break down to you the concept of as above, so below. Each planet is connected to our personalities, our personality traits, the way we move, how we how we move, um, you know, between ourselves at work, relationships, love, um, money, sex, everything, okay? Each um, astrological, um, each, uh, the, excuse me, um, each house in astrology is is ruled by a certain planet and, and also um, a zodiac sign. So it's very important to also understand and know the houses so that when you look at your actual birth chart, you can understand what sign and what planet is affecting what part of your life. OK, um, it'll all become clear to you if you just really take the time to take yourself serious um, and actually do the work. So that being said, I am going to log off now. Um, if you are, in fact, looking to get a personal reading from me, um, you can hit me up divine chakra 777 at gmail dot com. Um, there's also a link in the there's description box below where you can actually book a session with me. Um, also I do have specials going on this, this month for readings. If you're looking for a one month reading for October is $25. If you in fact want to do a three month reading, um, it is 35, which I think is more beneficial to you and it will include the months of October, November, and December. All right. So you'll be able to get a gist of, um, what to expect over the next two and a half months. Um, and I know like I had a reading today and she had a fourth card that spilled out for the month of January. Um, so sometimes cards will 
pop out and fly out and you may in fact get more than three cards so I'm just throwing that out there um, it is a possibility it's not guaranteed but it is a possibility that you may get a little bit more insight than what you were looking for um, coming into the reading all right um, a couple announcements I will be announcing my next tarot class um, I will also be probably redoing the first original tarot class because I know that there are some people that were not able to take the class or didn't know about it or what have you um, so if you are interested in fact in getting and having me redo the first original tarot class let me know so that I can set that up otherwise I will be announcing the next date very soon I will also be doing a video for you guys for the 2000 um, subscriber counts I have finally figured out what I'm gonna do for the giveaway so I will be uploading that video next week um uh, what else what else what else, what else, what else? Um, weight loss video will be coming next week as well and that's it all right I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. And as always, I will check you guys in the next video. Peace.